hello guys welcome to my youtube channel biotechy in this today video we are going to see about implementation of elephant character to a robot new research finds that elephants making their external nose which means its trunk into wider or larger or more open to create more space which allowing them to store more than 9 liters of water in their trunk an elephant can able to suck 3 liters of water in a second which its speed is 50 times faster when compared to human sneeze. Human sneezing speed is 150 meter per second or 330 meter per hour. So in the case of elephant, it can take 3 liters of water within a second which is 50 times faster than a human sneeze means elephant intake water in their trunk with a speed of 16,500 meter per hour which means 16.5 kilometer per hour or 7,500 meter per second that is 7.5 kilometer per second. This research has main motto to apply the same technique in the category of robots to move or hold things by manipulating the air. The Georgia Tech College of Engineering study in a deep way to better understand the physics of how elephants use their trunks to move and make it wider for airflow, water, food and other objects. They are just trying to implement the same technique of elephant to the robot to hold and move things by using the air movement. While octopus used to move when the water under the sea or ocean starts to spike up like a jet, example like a fountain, and an archer fish which found in fresh water, when the fish come near to the surface of water, if it locates any insects or small animals which is a trees or leaves of nearby bank of river, it shoots the water from the mouth and that water moves upward like a rocket and hit that spot where the spray located. Once the prey hitted by that shootout water, it falls into the fresh water and then the fish will swallow it. The water which shoot out from the mouth of archer fish is come to their target location like the water comes from the water gun where children used to play or water gun used for holy. An elephant eats about 400 pounds of food a day means 180 kg of food a day. All this food intaking process to the mouth of elephant is done by movement of trunk including intake of water. So averagely elephant use its trunk to intake food and water for 18 hours at every day. But the mechanism of this process is still unaware. While elephants intaking food or water it turn out their trunks acts like a suitcase capable of expanding when they need. This research team worked with veterinarians at Zoo Atlanta study about how the elephants using their trunks for different types of foods. First they used to feed the elephant by rutabaga cubes means large round yellow fleshed root that is eaten as a vegetable that belongs to European cabbage family produces from the cabbage roots. Observe how this elephant used its trunk to grab and collect it. This elephant sucked small cubes in their trunk and made a loud sound sense like sound from the vacuum cleaner or a sound created by person when they create a noise while they intake the noodles or like a noisy drinking before they transfer vegetable to their mouth. While elephants inhale liquid from an aquarium, the research team observes that process and note the time and durations plus they measure the volume of water intaken by the trunk. To learn more about how the elephants absorbing air or liquid from the environment, researchers gave a tortilla chip to the elephants which is a type of food come under snacks category made from corn tortilla. Tortilla means a pancake which is thin and flat made from maize flour. Researchers offer the above one to the elephant and start measure the applied force of the trunk on it. At one instance the elephant put pressure on the chip and breathed in which make the chip to reach the tip of the trunk. It is like when we try to inhale a piece of paper. And in some cases the elephant applies suction which means an inward force into their body from a distance that drop the chip to the edge of the trunk. Some professor said an elephant uses its trunk like a Swiss army knife. It can detect scent and grab things. 
other times it blows away some objects like a leaf blower a gardener tool or observes it like a vacuum cleaner by setting up the chip and the researcher starts to observe the inhaling speed of the trunk from an aquarium it results within 1.5 seconds the elephant trunk absorbs 3.7 liters of water which is equal to flush of 20 toilets at the same time to observe the working of inner muscles of trunk they set ultrasonic probe which produces sound waves when tissue of body bounces off by contracting those inner muscles the animal widens its external nose up to 30 percent this decreased thickness of the walls and expands the nose volume by 64 percentage at first researchers can't able to got that even though elephant's nose passage is relatively small but how they manage to hold more amount of water at their trunk but once they go through the ultrasonographic images means process of viewing tissues or organs by producing high energy sound waves from that they watched the nose expands and found how they did it air makes the wall open and the animal can store huge water than the expected based on the pressure in the trunk researchers suggest that elephants inhale at speeds that comparable to japan's 300 miles per hour bullet trains this mechanism of the elephant trunks need to implement in soft robotics means constructing the robots that looking like living organisms that is like artificial intelligence and in conservation efforts like managing natural resources and preservation of it and that is the main motto of this research team. Such a team describe the scope of researching the mechanics and physics behind the trunk muscles movement. We can apply that same mechanism like grasping and suction by that we can find new ways to build robot. For this research, the desired species is African elephant. By studying the trunk mechanism, we are going to implement the same two robot that has been listed as endangered species because of poaching and loss of habitat. So the team decides to study more about the trunk mechanism of African elephant. Additionally, they are learning how to conserve the elephants in the wild. The most